Around 2,000 pupils were sent home from British forces schools across Germany today because of soaring temperatures in the classroom. Nine schools closed because of the unusually hot weather, which has seen record highs of nearly 40 degrees Celsius in recent days. More now from our chief reporter in Germany, Martha Fairley. Lessons in keeping cool at school today as parts of Germany were heating up. But Department for Education guidelines say anything over 35 degrees Celsius is too hot for school pupils to work in for prolonged spells. With temperatures continuing to rise, pupils were moved to other areas to escape the heat. And at William Wordsworth School in Senelaga, that meant finding some shade, a breeze and lots of water. We were insisting that they drank regularly. Uh, some of the children were going towards fans. We did have some children who were very lethargic, who were feeling sick, and they came down and were put beside fans and cool packs put on them. Service Children's Education took the decision to close nine schools across Paderborn and Goodisloe garrisons with pupils going home at lunchtime. Abby and Lee Cooper have just moved here from the UK. They didn't expect this on their first day at school. It's really hot, so we can't play out too much. Yeah. And what have you been doing at school today to keep cool, Lee? Um, staying in the shade at, under the trees. I just had a week off, first day in, and they're only in for half a day, but what can you do? I don't really want them out playing in this weather, do you know what I mean? So it would be nice for them to sit in the, sit in the shade and uh, relax, hopefully. But while pupils were sent home, teachers took refuge in cooler rooms to continue with their work. And as temperatures continue to soar, medical advice is to make sure children don't suffer in the heat by keeping them in the shade, stopping them from running around too much and drinking plenty of water. A quarter of all schools in BFG have been affected by today's closures. And if this German heat wave continues, parents are being warned that classes could be cancelled again. Martha Fairley, Forces News, Senelager. And the Rheindalen military complex in Germany is cleaning up after a snap storm at lunchtime today, described by eyewitnesses as a tornado. Falling trees caused damage to vehicles and buildings, forcing all bases to close their entrances. School children were kept indoors as the storm swept through playgrounds just before midday. A tree that had hit one house narrowly missed a child's bedroom. I'm so glad it wasn't when we were all at home. I mean, I know there's no damage to the rooms, but just to hear it, you know, hear it hit the roof, it would be quite scary, I think. So I'm glad we were all at work and at school. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to a man in the know, tonight's weather forecaster, Alex Deakin, who began by telling me what's behind the high temperatures in Germany. It's been so hot just because of the way the weather patterns are set up. We've got an area of low pressure, or we had an area of low pressure at the weekend, just to the west of the United Kingdom. Ahead of that, that which means we've been sucking up southerly winds right across Germany from the end of last week and right the way through the weekend. So southerly winds drawing up hot air from Africa and from Spain, coupled with the intense sunshine, the sun obviously pretty strong at this time of year, causing those temperatures to soar widely over the weekend into the mid-30s, one or two places in Germany up to 40 degrees Celsius. And Alex, how long is it likely to be like that in Germany? Well, we're actually starting to see the changes at the moment. The area of low pressure, which was across the UK, is now moving into the near continent. And we've got this uh, cold front across uh, Germany. Behind that, we have the colder or cooler air. Well, we've had all the hot conditions. That's triggered the thunderstorms. A lot of energy, of course, from all the heat, triggering the thunderstorms, which we've seen through the day today, mainly across the east. Now, as we go through the night, we'll see those uh, thunderstorms moving away. But uh, behind that, we will finally start to see things cool cooling down, so the rest of the week should be a good deal more comfortable. Alex Deacon speaking to me earlier.